Youngstown Phantoms post-game interviews are presented by the YMCA. Ryan, the Youngstown Phantoms are the Eastern Conference champions. Congratulations. Thank you. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, I thought it was a great game. I thought uh, our guys, the way they competed, like the resolve that they showed, kind of a microcosm of how our year's gone. And it's just a great, great win. You put up 19 shots in the first period, but couldn't get anything behind man. What was the message in between? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you stick to it and you play our game, and we felt good about, I mean, Christ, since since game 15, we've been the best team in the league, and I think uh, for us, you just stick to it and trust the process and just keep doing what we do. And I mean, it's worked for us all year. We're certainly not going to get away from it tonight. We've talked about the Serbone, Rossi, Isagai line. They came up huge for you late in regulation. What did you think of their performance this evening? Yeah, I mean, those guys are, and in Serbone, the poetic justice that he had tonight getting traded, obviously, by Chicago and um, coming back here and buying into what we're doing after being traded a second time. I mean, what a leader, what a kid. Uh, that whole line, Kenta, I mean, they've been outstanding all year. Uh, the one-two punch with... Missy X line and Sir Bones line obviously uh, brought us the depth that we needed to have success and the guys just believe in themselves and it's just it's just unbelievable. Speaking of the Missy X line, they dominated all game long. Probably could have had two or three goals tonight, but they combined for that game winner in overtime. What do you think of the performance and what you see on the game winning goal? Yeah, they've been outstanding. I mean, White Law, Miss Missile, Missile's found another level. Shane the chance, Shane the chance. I mean, Will, like, is there anyone else that's going to score that goal? It, it's Will Whitelaw. Um, he's a big-time player. We've talked about it a ton. Um, you know, I think I think for us, like, it was going to be one of those guys, and Will did a phenomenal job in, in getting to the net, and we talked about it a ton this series. You know, they, they're an offensive team that likes to play offense rather than defense, and we were going to have to make them grind and make it heavy on them, and Will getting to the net there and entering the zone, I mean, it's a great play. At the 10 minute mark at the third, Central makes a huge poke check and Fowler makes that save and stop that breakaway basically. 1 0 to 2 0, and you guys turn it around from there, which would, would really change. Yeah, no, I think, listen, it's a it's a game of ebbs and flows. It's uh, You're playing, you know, the most dynamic offensive team in the in the league, and uh, you're going to have to have a couple big plays that, that thwart a scoring chance. And I think when you have Jacob Fowler in the net, he bails us out. We talked about it the other day, Lipper. Like, he bails us out when we need him, and, and I think, uh, you know, no different tonight. Uh, Centrella has been fantastic all series. He's a bit of an unsung hero for us, and, you know, he wears a letter on his jersey for a reason, and that was an unbelievable sequence of events. And, you know, Jacob is, he should be the highest goalie taken in the NHL draft. I mean, if you just watch what he's doing here, it's outstanding. We've seen two Western Conference teams all season long, the Waterloo Blackhawks and the Des Moines Buccaneers. What can we expect out of the Fargo Force? I know they have good goaltending. That's the only thing I know. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, Fargo is going to be our toughest test yet. Uh, Nick Oliver is the best coach in the league. Um, you know, Kerry Eads does a great job. The whole organization's unbelievable, and we have to uh, we have to be ready, and we're going to enjoy this tonight because they deserve it. God knows that. And, uh, you know, we'll get on the bus tomorrow and we'll head north and uh, we'll be ready. I can guarantee you that. Congratulations, Ryan. We'll see you next weekend. Yes, you will.